Sock dog trials are a contest where a dog competes against animals to try and maneuver them into a, a set of obstacles uh, through chutes, gateways, and into pens, and the dog has to do the controlling. You want to get a puppy that is from obviously from healthy parents and parents that have instinct. If you can see them working in their own environment, that helps a lot. If you can see them working in some other neutral environment, that's even better. And these trials kind of show that type of work. Uh, so get a pup with some talent, get it well socialized, take it everywhere you can, get it listening to you. You don't have to have formal obedience on a herding dog, but he has to listen and do what you ask him to do. And then about six months to 12 months of age, that instinct kicks in. And from then it's, Katie, bar the door, you know. This dog's going, that's when you need that groundwork already set. And uh, you take them out, start small on easy stock, work up to bigger and bigger pins, more and more difficult stock. We have a purebred cattle operation and these dogs are critical. Uh, very seldom do I ever go out in the pasture anymore. The dogs bring everything to me and then we work them once we get them in the lot. What he's looking for when the dog goes out at first to gather the sheep, he's looking that the dog stays far enough away that he doesn't cause the animals to move until he gets behind him and wants to start bringing them back here. And then he wants to have a steady movement and a, and a not wandering movement. He wants to bring them kind of straight back and keep them moving but without getting them to running and, and hurrying up too much. When you have a well-trained dog, you are in total control of your livestock. I mean, my sheep are so easy at home that it's pathetic. I like it, but as long as I have a dog with me. If the dog's in the kennel, they go like, well, I don't have to go what you want to do. All I gotta do is show them a dog and they run to the pen or wherever I want them to go. But that's after you train them and after your stock are used to the dog. Doesn't matter if it's sheep or cattle. And if the dog's fair with the livestock, in other words, I'm here, move away from me. If, let, if you let the dog teach the stock that, then you can position the dog to direct the stock in the opposite direction. And that's when it really gets nice. This is a way for me to relax, and also because I work uh, cow herd and, and calves by myself, uh, my wife says she was replaced by a dog and that's all right with her. But uh, I don't have to have anybody help watch gates or anything, or go around the cattle up, the dogs do it for me.